What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, I believe that we still have some hope. We have a measure of hope, a slim, a slim chance, right? Look, we, if we beat Houston, that would set us up to take on number 11 as of right now, Tennessee, number 19, Texas, Ohio State, still Ohio State, and then another game versus USC, and right now they're ranked number seven in the nation, and Austin Leonard should be back by the time that we take on Tennessee, but Ashton Smith he will be on the men, man, because this guy is a, is a silly athlete. He could have been done with school. I asked him to come back. <laughs> He's a red shirt senior. So he, technically, he shouldn't even have classes. If he does, he should be like in a grad program. You know what I mean? But hey, it is what it is. Nothing's perfect, and neither is this team. Anyways, man, we're taking on Houston, and we need to keep our winning ways going. We cannot slip up or any hopes of being in a relative or relevant a relevant bowl game by the end of the season is going to be out the window. So, Brown has it. Going to let that thing fly. That pass not going to be on time or on target. Third down and 10 out of the gun. No protection. We've got to run for our lives. And down we go. Lance Mayo gets in there for the sack. And that is not a good way to start the football game off for our offense. Richard makes the catch right there. And that's going to be a gain of three. They're going to fake the ball to Horn. Carpenter lets the fly. Caught by Ryan Reed. Running people over and works his way up to the 35-yard line. Carpenter under pressure and down he goes. Walker gets in there for the sack. And that's going to be second down and 16. Carpenter lets a fly. That pass is going to be caught by Mitchell. And Tim Mitchell makes his first catch of the ball game. Carpenter over the middle. Going to find Wade. And that's going to be a first down for Matt Wade. So Matt Carpenter out there throwing nothing but heat-seeking misses. Now Ryan Reed knifes through the defense and gets all the way to the one-yard line. They give it to him again, and we stop him with Roger Owens. So can we get a goal line stand? They run the ball again, and the answer is no. That's a touchdown. And Houston may look quite easy on that drive. So for the 20, we're going to give it to Quentin Jordan, whose carries should increase with our man Ashton Smith on the men. Now, I could have shortened his suspension, but nobody's bigger than the team, and I do not want the NCAA coming down on us for any type of reason. Now, Brown looking downfield under pressure, and down he goes again. So we continue to be harassed in the backfield. There goes Lance Mayo with another stop. Third down and 25. Looking downfield for Gonzalez, who makes a diving catch. So beautiful catch right there. It extends the drive. That's exactly what we need until this happens. So a great play on third down along turns into a disaster. The ball gets tipped, intercepted by Lance Mayo, and they're going to take back over Matt Carpenter, though. Watch out. He's going to get sacked. That was starts with the sack. They're going to fire it over the middle. That pass will fall incomplete. So now it's going to be third down and 14. Can we please go off the field here? Carpenter lets a fly tight coverage by our man Flowers. One of the best cornerbacks in the game. One of the best cornerbacks in program history. As Bass takes it up past the 20-yard line. And that's going to take us to the second quarter of play down by seven. So first down and 10 for the 23-yard line. And go up the gut with battle and battle. Going to try to make a man miss. Can't quite get out of his grasp. But we do pick up a first down from the 37-yard line. Give it to Justin Battle as again. And this time he gets slung down. Gain of just two. We need eight yards here. We throw it caught by Williams. Brought down by the face mask. Tack on 15 more yards. And we are starting to move. Can we end this drive with some points? We go up the gut and we get shut down. Second down and 10. Brand looking down. Field. Going to throw it to Smith. And that pass well defended and broken up underneath. So we're looking down. Field on third down. Going to throw it to Osborne. He makes the catch. And the drive continues again. We are working awfully hard to try to get some points up on the board. We go up the gut and battle. Gets GSU on the scoreboard. And thank goodness we done did it right then and there. 7-7 Seven -seven is now the score. Martin on the kicker turn. And Martin's going to get thrown down at the 26-yard line. Halfback pass. Ryan Reed lets a fly. Caught by Matt Martin. Got Matt Tim at receiver. Matt Martin. And, of course, Matt Carpenter at quarterback. They're going to find Horn, the big fullback. He's going to get brought down for no game. Matter of fact, he lost a yard. Ryan Reed weaving through traffic. A silky smooth spin move. And now it's going to be third and inches. They get the ball to Horn, who's going to pick it up by the hands of his chinny chin chin. From the 45-yard line to get the ball up the gut with Reed. And Samson's there for the stop. Second down and six. We meet him in the backfield. Walker gets in there again. 
So third down and eight. Caught by Talissa Fly. Caught by Matt Wade. And the drive shall continue. We got to find a way to get off of the field on third down. Ryan Reed up the gut. Hit with mean intentions after a three-yard pickup. They throw it to the right side. Caught by Mitchell. And that's going to be a first down for Tim Mitchell. First and goal from the five. They give it to Ryan Reed. And it was Pancake City. It was IHOP all you can eat along the right side. Even the left tackle got a pancake block. Everybody gets pancakes in Houston. So Bass up to the 20-yard line and dragged down at the 22. But clipping on the play, so bring it all the way back to the 7. First down and 10. Brown, let's a fly. That pass caught by Smith, and that shall be a first down from the 19-yard line. Donnie Brown looking. Donnie Brown throwing. That pass off of the hands of Bass. So second down and 10 now. Brownie rolling left for his life. Now he decides to keep it. Breaks the tackle. He's going to pick up not quite the first down, but a gain of nine. So third down to one. All we need is one yard. We go up top. Caught by Smith. He makes a beautiful catch. The ball seemed to hang in the air forever, but he hauls it in. First down, GSU. Now we're going to find Williams, and Leonard Williams makes the catch for a first down. From the 37-yard line, first down and 10. Brownie going to roll left, looking for Leonard Williams. He brings it in, and we're inside the 10. So first and goal now. Going to go to the slant route, caught by Al Smith, and it's 14-14. So we drive down the length of the field from our own seven-yard line to tie this thing up at 14 off, And they're going to get the football first. Matt Martin from inside the zone. End zone brought down before he can get busy by Hill. And it's going to be first down and 10 from the 17. There goes the numbers. Fairly even. I mean, that's why it's fairly even on the scoreboard. There goes Reed to the left side. And Reed, he's going to break a tackle. And then Caleb Henderson comes up to bring him down. Out of the gun to give it to Reed again. And we're going to be there to stop him before he can really get going. But he still picked up the first down to the left side. That pass caught by Samuel. And this Houston offense, we know they can put up points in a hurry. But right there, they try to get two cute halfback pass. And Dwayne Ford gets in for the tackle for loss. Carpenter under pressure. Gets his less a fly. And then Ty Juan Alfred is there to bat that thing away. And we take over. Gonna run the ball quitting Jordan. Can we get the lead for the first time today? I'm hoping. I'm hoping because we're struggling to say the least. We go up the gut. Quentin Jordan. He's going to get dragged down. Third down and five now. Three man rush by Houston to play in coverage. And the coverage wasn't good enough. We find Leonard Williams yet again. And it's a first down. Looking now. Feel that pass intercepted by Mayo. And that's going to bring our drive to a screeching halt. We were on pace to possibly take the lead for the first time today. But now they got the ball right back. And they're going to find Chris Richard on that pass play. They're going to run the ball with Reed. He gets tattooed. The ball comes out, but they're there for the recovery. So Houston maintains possession. Third down to three. They're going to run the ball with Reed. And Ryan Reed has the first down brought down by Flowers. So they're going to get that thing to Reed up the gut. And he gets hit with mean intentions by Matt Brown. They give it to Reed again. And Ryan Reed brought down by Roger Owens. His fourth tackle of the contest. Carpenter letting the fly intercepted. Tie. Juan Alfred with the INT. And now we have a chance to take the lead for the first time yet again. Quentin Jordan. There goes the run play to the right side on a direct snap. And that's going to be a first down up to the 30-yard line. We get a ball to battle. And Justin Battle gets brought down fairly quickly. Gain of just two yards. Second down and eight. Looking for Basque who drops it again. His second drop of the game. Brown looking downfield, gonna let this one fly to Al Smith, tight coverage, and that pass will hit the grass, and Houston takes over, they still have not been down today, Carpenter lets him fly, that pass tipped and then caught by Chris Richard, now Carpenter throws it, intercepted, Aaron Flowers, down the right sideline, Flowers to the 20, 10, 5, give that man 6, we have finally taken the lead today, and it is a beautiful feeling. Aaron Flowers on a 49-yard pick six. And that's exactly what we needed. So it's first down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Carpenter steps up. Throws it in that pass in the center. Give me that Yahoo. They hurt. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception with Roger Owens. And that's three drives that have ended in three picks. They're going to win the ball with battle. And battle's going to take us to the fourth quarter. 
So we're up by seven. Won't give it to Quentin Jordan. Bounces to the outside. Has six on his mind. And he picks up a touchdown. And we're now up 28 to 14. Their offense, talking about Houston's, they've been able to move the ball. But they haven't been able to score this half. They're going to throw it to the right side. Caught by Ryan Reed. Brought down by Owens. Just shy of the first down marker. From the 34-yard line. Going to go to Matt Martin. And he gets brought down in the backfield. So third down and three from the 33. They run the ball. And we're there for the stop with Mr. Walker yet again. His fourth stop. Then we bat that thing down. And we are off of the field on defense. So first down and 10 from the 35-yard line. We get the ball to battle. Running people over. Mayo, pick up your pride and put it back in your pocket. First down and 10, we're going to give it to battle again. To the 20, cuts it back. He's loose down the sideline and forced out of bounds at the 1. First and goal, we give it to Bonner, our fullback, and he can't get in there. So we have to dust ourselves off and try it again. We give it to Quentin Jordan. He gets denied as well. So the defense of Houston still showing some heart out there. And Brown's going to try to keep it himself. And that is not going to work out. So Houston defense gets a goal line stand. But they find themselves down by three scores. And with only a few minutes left in the ball game, that's like a death sentence. So Martin, he gets up to the 21-yard line. Out of the gun. Carpenter has it. Throws it. D Dwayne Ford playing that nickel back spot beautifully. Bats that thing away. They throw it to the flat, caught by Samuel, gets away from Flowers, gets away again to the 40. Owens giving chase, but he's not going to catch Samuel, who takes it to the crib. So here comes the onside kick, and we're there for the recovery with Quentin Jordan, and if we milk the clock just right, we should be about here with the victory. 10-point lead for us. We're going to run the ball with battle. Battle to the 40. Battle to the 35. But he gets forced out of bounds, which will stop the clock with a minute 45 on it. We're going to run the ball with Jordan. He gets loose. He has a first down. And Houston burns their first time out. Or the second time out. They have one left. We run the ball with battle again. They're going to hang on to it here. So third down. One time out left for Houston. We're going to fire. And that pass is dropped this time by Williams. So they hold on to that last timeout, and they have around a minute left, down by just 13. So two touchdowns could win in the ball game. That might be a tall order, but let's see what they can do. They're going to find Martin, and Matt Martin makes another catch brought down by Dwayne Ford, his fourth tackle. Carpenter's going to keep it, and Carpenter's going to run for a first down. 39 seconds on the clock. They're going to run the option again, and Carpenter brought down by Caleb Henderson. 26 seconds on the clock. Carpenter. First down, brought down by Henderson again. Now there's four seconds on the clock. No more timeouts for Houston. Gonna throw this one, and that pass broken up. One second, this thing is over. Last play of the ball game. Carpenter throws it to the back of the end zone, and the falls incomplete. Broken up by Henderson, and that is going to do it. So 34 to 21 is the final, and that's exactly what we needed. The last. Three games of the season, or last four games of the season, are versus some pretty well-known schools. Three of them are ranked as of right now. Wouldn't it surprise me by the time we play Ohio State, if they get back in the top 25, we have a bye week, and then Tennessee, and then Texas, I believe, then Ohio State, and then USC. So, yeah. It won't be easy, but we can do it, baby. We're going to get Leonard back, so I'm excited for that. Anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best today. Peace, love. Hot sauce.